Hey everyone, let's continue discussion of problems in DLC. In this tutorial, we are gonna analyze, first learn Shannon's expansion and analyze problems where we have to use this rule, Shannon's expansion, to solve the problem. Okay, so first of all, let me explain what Shannon expansion actually is. So consider you have the function with n inputs. So Shannon expansion is kind of a way to simplify the function, okay? So in this case, you have to use um, so-called a rule. Uh, this rule is very simple. Firstly, you have to select one input. For example, if you have three inputs, you have to select one, two, kind of, you know, if you, so our previous uh, video uh, about multiplexers, you know, uh, we choose uh, selectors, right? I mean, we have one selector, two selectors, okay? So most of the time you're gonna use Shannon's expansion uh, to simplify the function before using what? Multiplexer. For multiplexer, you need selector. I mean, to build multiplexer, you need the selector. I mean, for example, if it's multiplexer, this is selector, right? It, it, it may be there may be one selector two selector so in the case of the shannon's expansion if you ask it to use shannon's expansion to build the circuit using multiplexer that means you have to identify you have to kind of yeah identify or choose let's say choose the selectors before reaching the multiplexer i mean i mean before building multiplexer you have to know what the selector is and in this case you're gonna use this selector in uh, your shannon expansion for example uh, in this particular case i've ch chosen uh, w1 here as my uh let's say selector so here also w1 so idea is very simple so if you have multiplexer then you're gonna i mean if you have multiplexer, sorry, if you have a selector, of course you have two values of selector, right? Again, I'm going to draw here multiplexer. So this is selector, let's say W1, and here we have two, uh, not one, and not zero, but one. Two values for, uh, of course, uh, for selector. So that means uh, in Shannon expansion, in the first set, you're going to um, substitute, substitute W1 in the function, W1 in the function, this what with zero here zero that's and in the second case you're gonna put plus okay second case you're gonna substitute a selector's value i mean the selector variable with one so consider uh the example here below so uh, i have this function we are given this function okay so uh, my job is to simplify this function and then Implement it using two to one multiplexer. This is two to one multiplexer. Two to one means one selector, two values. Okay, two values given, uh, one selector and one output. This is F. So, uh, firstly, uh, as I've told you, you're gonna use Shannon expansion, and in Shannon expansion, you have to identify what selector you're gonna use later. Later, I mean later. Uh, in building multiplexer. Okay. So uh, again, I've chosen here. What W one is my selector. Okay, so uh, here what I'm doing. See, uh, instead of um, W one, I'm gonna put the value of zero. Okay, so here I mean, here I'm putting zero. And in the second case, don't forget this bar, right? Uh, in the second case, instead of W one, I'm putting one. So here, okay. So let's do. I mean, let's see. What we're gonna have firstly i'm going to consider this case okay i mean this case the case of zero selector so uh, i'm writing w1 bar okay don't forget it i'm opening the bracket so instead of w1 here and uh, here i'm gonna put zero so zero multiplied to w2 plus w2 uh, bar w3 I'm, I'm not going to change it because there is no w1 swelly so uh, instead of w2 i'm going to put w2 instead of w3 i'm going to put and uh, in the place of w3 i'm going to put w3 uh, and so on. i'm just uh, substituting the value of uh, w1 which is the selector okay substitute the value of, of selector substitute okay first. Ah, 
What is this? Okay. First, substitute. Again, first law of car, identify the selector. Let's say uh, identify, okay, uh, selector. Then substitute uh, value uh, of selector. Uh, two case zero and one okay so here uh, instead of w1 i'm gonna put zero so zero multiplied w3 bar so plus okay let me let me let me let me let me let me put plus here and i'm gonna write in different color so i'm gonna consider the second case you know in the multiplexer we have two cases for uh, the selector zero case and one case i mean when we select zero or when we select one so now i'm gonna write the case for uh, the, for the case when we select one and have you identify whether it's one or not i mean whether it's zero or one i mean you put here bar right you put here bar because you are putting instead of w1 zero so here just w1 so okay i can use it like that so okay multiplication opening the brackets i mean i mean i, I am substituting this right i, I mean you know, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm, instead of this expression, uh, I am substituting the the value of the function. Okay, uh, for example, you know, if you have this function uh, a plus b, and um, you, I mean, this two multiplied to f is the same with two multiplied a plus b, right? So instead of this f, I am putting the value of the function. Okay, so I hope it makes sense for you. And uh, uh, yeah. Why it's not ah, okay yeah let me delete it yeah my job is done so let's continue instead of w1 i'm gonna put one so one multiplied here okay one multiplied to w2 plus w2 bar w3 i mean instead of w2 and w3 i'm just putting the w2 and w3 so it doesn't matter so instead of w1 here i'm gonna put one so w3 so finally i'm gonna have this case w1 bar multiply to this is done now this is done so w2 bar w3 plus w1 multiply to w2 plus w2 bar w3 plus w3 bar uh, of course uh, this is not the topic of this video but of course you can simplify it if you're gonna simplify uh, you're gonna have uh, W2, W3. So you're gonna have W2 plus W3 plus W3 bar. So this is always one, right? I mean, yeah, this is always one. So overall, you're gonna have W2. Okay, so if you don't know how to do it, I mean, firstly, I'm doing what? Firstly, consider this case. So let's say W2 is A and W3 is B. So you have what? W2 plus W2 bar W3. This is equal to A plus A bar B. And from the law of Boolean algebra, this equals to A plus B, okay? Which is just W2 plus W3. So then we have W3 bar. And, you know, uh, when W3 is 0, this is going to be 0, but W3 bar is going to be 1. So when W3 is 1, W3 bar is going to be 0. So 1 plus 0 is always 1. So uh, we can omit uh, 1. So finally, you have this W2. Okay, let me delete everything. So I hope it makes sense for you. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. So finally, I have what? W1 bar multiplied W2 bar W3 and plus W1, just W2. So from this, oh, <laughs> from this function, from this long function, let me choose a different color, from this long function, using Shannon's expansion, now, we have just this simple function. So, you know, this W1 is your selector. So now, uh, with the help of uh, Shannon inspection, you simplified the function. And now you have to implement this function using 
two to one multiplexer. So I'm gonna draw two to one multiplexer. So your selector is W one. So please be uh, I mean pay attention. In the previous video, in the case of multiplexers, we identified or we chose a selector only when we uh, only when not only when but before I mean drawing for building multiplexer, okay. Um, only when I reach this part, then I chose the selector, okay. But in the case of Shannon expansion, when you are asked to a Shannon expansion, you have to choose the selector before simplification in the beginning. That means, okay. So uh, your task is to uh, use two to one multiplexer in order to implement this function. Two to one multiplexer means there is going to be two values. In the previous video, I told you that these are two values, you divide it by two, and you're going to have one. That means you're going to need one selector. If you are asked to build or to implement this function using four to one multiplexer, that means you're going to need two selectors. In this case, you had to choose two selectors. Doesn't matter, W1, W2, or W3. Again, in this case, instead of W1, I also, you could also, or you can also choose W3, doesn't matter. What's most, what's important is just to select, just to identify for your case, for your simplification, what is your selector, okay? Uh, I hope it makes sense for you. Uh, so now uh, we know that our selector is W1. So this is a function and uh, here we have w, uh, V0, V1. So when the w ones selector's value is zero, the function's this value is going to be v1 when it's one the functions value is going to be um, i mean v0 uh, and then v1 so our i mean when the value of the selector is zero what is our um, function yeah i mean when the value of when the value of v1 is zero function f equals to w2 bar W3, right? I mean, this one, okay? So, this bracket is a function, is the value of the function, okay? Because, you know, come on, man, see, <laughs> guys, here we had what? W1 bar multiplied to F. So, here we have W1 multiplied to some expression, this is F, the value of F, when W1 is zero. This is what the value of f when w1 is one. So w1 is one. So f is going to be w2. So as I told you in the previous videos, uh, in the case of multiplexer, so let me draw multiplexer again below. In the case of multiplexer, you're not going to have always kind of two just inputs, simple given inputs. I mean, like this, you have to draw, uh, build some circuits, right? Uh, in the left side and uh, the circuit for the zero case is going to be this one right and i mean for this case and the circuit for the one case is going to be just the value of w2 so let's draw it uh, i hope it makes sense uh, for you so oh, i'm going to delete everything so i just want to draw it a little bit beautifully and so that it makes more sense for you uh, much sense not more sense come on so okay I'm coming here and uh, so this is multiplexer this is selector this is the value of selector this is F so this is W2 and this is W3 so uh, is it so yeah, so when the value of selector's value is one and the uh, output is just W2. So uh, let me change the order. Uh, let's put here W2 and W3. So when the value of uh, selector is one, so I'm just connecting W2, okay? Because you know, this is <laughs> the function. I mean, when the W1 is one, our function is W2, this one. So I'm just connecting this line, okay? This one. So 
Now, uh, in the case of uh, zero selector, I mean, when the W1 is zero, uh, this is what W2 multiplied the W3, and multiplication is end operation. So, uh, it's very simple, you know, end operation, end gate, I'm connecting to it. So, uh, it has W3, I mean, it's W3 multiplied to W2 bar. So, this is first input is w3 and the second input is negated w2 so i'm putting here negation so uh no no, no stop, 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 stop. not here come on if i put here negation the output uh output here is going to be not w2 but w2 bar okay here it's going to be w2 bar so i don't want this okay i don't want this so this uh, i made a mistake uh i'm doing what i'm kind of creating a separate wire here so here I'm going with W just two, but above I'm putting negation so that here I'm gonna have W two bar. So yeah, and the result is W two bar W three. So this is the end. So basically this was a Shannon expansion and just a revision of the previous video. Okay, so in the Shannon expansion you select a selector, you identify the selector. And uh, the number of selectors depends on the uh, question. If you ask it to uh, implement the function later with two to one multiplexer, you just choose one selector. If four to one, you're gonna choose two selectors. But uh, most of the time, you, you maybe kind of ask it kind of just one question, like just simplify this function using Shannon expansion. In this case, you just choose one selector, okay? So, I mean, most of the case, uh, this answer this part, this part is sufficient. Most of, in, in some cases, you, you may not require to build this multiplexer. I mean, this multiplexer. So in this case, uh, you do just what? When there is no instructions given, four to one, two to one, you just choose one selector out of n selectors. No, no not selector, but you choose one selector out of n inputs. If you have three inputs, you're gonna choose maybe one, selector w1 w2 or w3 and if you have two inputs of course you choose one <laughs> i mean if you have just function with two inputs you're gonna choose just one selector okay so this was all i hope it was understandable for you and uh, if you have any kind of questions just please ask them uh, in our forum in our website or just contact me uh, contact us our team in our telegram channel comment section thank you for your attention